All right, I'll be introducing some new functionality in Para 3D 4.0. I'll be going over the Array Selection tool. Um, that can be found uh, at the Add tab, Add-ons, Array Selection. Um, and essentially what this tool does is it will select um, objects within an array based on the parameters that you're giving. And it, and it functions off of uh, Boolean output. Uh, and that'll make a little more sense when we uh, define the parameters. Um, within the scene itself, I just have a um, uh, basic pair node uh, with a surface controller and a sub-object uh, offset controller. Uh, and this is just a loft, a lofted surface. So the first thing we'll need to do is um, I'll just rename rename this to array selection and we'll add it to the para node uh, and now we're going to define the output so I'll go into the uh, the input option um, and then uh, the, the things that are compatible with I'll just uh, it's showing everything so I'll just hide so this is this is showing all the boolean output that this uh, that the array selection is compatible with so I'll be showing you two examples today I'll show the um, the pattern controller and also the random controller so we'll start with the uh, the pattern controller so under the pattern controller options I'll just set up something basic so it's at one zero I will make it zero one, which will define uh, a checker pattern. Okay, so within my um, within my um, array selection tools, there are a few options. Um, if I'd like to add to the current selection by like constantly updating it, will it'll keep adding to the selection. Uh, in this case, I don't want that. I do want it to automatically select objects after I update. However, so um, I'll go down to um, the pattern controller and then update. And to really show you how this tool works is um, I'm going to go down to the, um, the replace tool and I'll select that. Yes. And then I'm now going to um, replace everything that the pattern selection has um, selected with a 45 degree. And that's just an editable mesh rotated at 45 degrees. Right. So as you can see here, um, Pair 3D has updated with the um, with the pattern controller is zero one and one zero. Okay. Um, another option I'd like to show you is the random controller, and it, it essentially functions the same way. So, I'll drag out a new controller. Um, everything that's compatible is is shown because I have um, this at hidden, and then I'll go to random controller. All I need to do is everything is basically set up. I'll just need to. Uh, update and you can see that it's selecting um, randomly from um, what's what's left within the array so um, I can also um, update once again with I'll use the replace tool select the 45 yes and if I were to look at this in plan you could see that it's uh, my pattern is uh, now distorted because I've introduced the the random controller